today, well, this morning has really kind of been a, I guess, self-reflective moment for me. You know, I'm working on a self-care guide that's exclusively for you ladies um, as a thank you gift for being part of this community. And as I've been working on it, I'm really discovering things about myself that it's not that I didn't know that they were there, but I either hadn't taken note of them or really just forgot about it. It was kind of back of mind. So like that capable woman in Proverbs, I know I'm industrious. I work hard. I take care of my family. I keep myself grounded spiritually with my routines. But there's still moments when I just feel overwhelmed by all the things, which I've been kind of feeling that way lately, like not too overwhelmed, but I can feel kind of the anxiety starting to build up and those doubts to creep in, feeling like I'm not doing enough when I know I'm doing more than enough. So I've been keeping with my morning routine, which I already talked about the fact that I expanded on that by adding in a little bit of exercise, which I've done all this week except for today because it rained this morning, so I couldn't get in my run, but that's okay. I'm also sticking to my boundaries, so I end my work day when I'm supposed to. I focus on my specific tasks and get them done. And I reflect every day on what I'm grateful for, so I'm getting wonderful my eight hours of sleep at night. According to my Apple Watch tracking, I'm getting about five and a half hours of really good sleep, so I'll take that. But anyway, but despite all of that, I still have days where I feel overwhelmed. I mean, and I, I sat on a thought about it. I mean, I still work a day job. I'm working on my podcast, I'm working on growing my community, still taking care of my family. I have aging parents that live in the area that have some health issues that I have to deal with sometimes. And I really only have like two days to run errands and do grocery shopping for the family because we have one vehicle that we share and those are the days that my husband is home is when I have to do everything that requires the vehicle. So it is a lot when I took a step back and looked at all of that this morning. So I had to identify where I was spending my time because I wasn't feel like I was really living my best life. So I had a black coffee conversation with myself this morning and I asked myself three questions. What am I tolerating? What is this costing me? And what is one small but powerful step that I can take so that I can change this and get better results? So how did I do it? I use my iPad. So I'm making good use of my new Apple Pen. I am loving it. So you can see my three columns with those things and the questions. And I wrote down my answers. So things I noticed I was tolerating. I was over committing um, with Facebook groups online, spending more time than I needed to on social media, especially Instagram, like responding to comments, leaving comments, trying to grow relationships there. I was just doing too much, not only online, but sometimes at home too, because I was trying to do it all myself instead of delegating, which is crazy, especially since I have a 16 year old that's very capable of doing a lot of things. So I need to have her step up a little bit. And then what is this costing me? It's costing me time to focus on my priorities. It's um, costing me the progress that I know I can be making if I focus. And I don't have as much time unplugged from being online as I need to. So my powerful step that I'm going to take to change this is I'm going to ask for and accept help. So for friends on Facebook, you probably have already seen my post from last night because my daughter cooked dinner. And it was weird, but great to be able to finish my work day and just sit down and curl up under a comforter on the sofa, watch TV and relax. She cooked dinner, she cleaned up, or she still needs to clean up some of the pots and pans that she used last night. I can't believe how much stuff this girl uses, but anyway. But dinner was great, and I didn't have to do anything but wait for her to bring me the plate. That was marvelous, and I don't know why I don't do it more. So that's at the top of the list of asking for help. She's going to have to cook more because mommy does enough. So in the end, what this has helped me realize is my I'm tolerating too much again I'm doing too much I'm trying to do too much myself and not rely on others to help me out with my load even though I'm here it still doesn't mean that I have to do everything physically myself so I too have to learn the art of delegation so I created a statement of what I'm not going to tolerate anymore and what I'm choosing to do to change that. So my statement is, I will no longer tolerate 
showing up for others more than I do for myself. Instead, I choose to limit my commitments and focus on my priorities. So step one in doing this is I have left a lot of the Facebook groups that I belong to because I just really need to get focused in specific areas. And the ones that I'm going to remain in right now are those that I know will help me to reach my goals. And it was a hard decision to make to have to leave because some of the groups I'm in um, belong to some of you ladies in this group and they're wonderful groups. You provide valuable information, but I've got to reduce my commitments. And if I'm in a group, I'm not one of those members that just wants to be there just because I know you and I like you. I need to give as much as I receive. And right now I think I'm giving too much by being in so many groups. So I need to give more to myself, which means I've got to reduce where I'm committed. So that's that. And when I get things back in a better order, then I'll be back. I still love you. And I will still support your post online and comment and get engage with you there. But my focus is going to be podcast is priority number one. Join this group is priority number two and continuing those relationships outside of the group on Instagram as my schedule allows. So now I challenge you to do a similar exercise. Why? Because we waste a lot of energy by buffering things that we you know, like to kind of cover up what we're tolerating. So we seek comfort in food, more cups of coffee an extra glass or two of wine maybe. And then there are other distractions that we use to make life more bearable because we're kind of out of sync with where we need to be. So my challenge for you is to create the life that you really want, the one that you love, the one that lights you up. That way you won't need to buffer or tolerate things that aren't helping you to reach your goals. It's called being intentional with your energy and with your time because let's face it, once time is gone, you can't get it back. So we need to maximize what we have. And as mompreneurs, we don't get a lot of time to focus on the things that really light us up because most of the time we're taking care of everyone else around us. So take care of yourself. So try this exercise over the weekend before you unplug from social media. And I hope you unplug on the weekends as I know several of you do. Allison does. Angel does. Um, there are several others of you that may or have thought about it and just haven't done it so try it this weekend see how it goes but complete this exercise first so get a piece of paper make three columns on it outline what you're tolerating identify what it's costing you and then write one powerful step that you can take to change the results that you're getting so that you feel more fulfilled and then write it down on a piece of paper and focus and actually share it with us in this group. Share the results. Complete this sentence. I will no longer tolerate fill in that blank. Instead, I choose to fill in that blank. That's it. That's the black coffee conversation I want you to have with yourself. So that next week on Monday, you can hit the ground running, know what you need to be focused on and stop tolerating things that aren't helping you reach your goals. So that's it. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I've got a few things to wrap up before I end my day and start my weekend. And until the next time, keep calm and streamlined.